hey guys what's up what's going on welcome back to kitchen tonic welcome back to another brand new video on the channel here welcome 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 in this video here we're going to be making a classic yet very simple tasty dish here and what we'll be making is a Guyanese styled Chinese chicken guys you know the chicken that you get in your fried rice at the Guyanese Chinese restaurant where you get a chicken fried rice well in this video here today we're going to be making a replica of that very same chicken that we're talking about there so I'm going to, I'm going to begin with the ingredients here because this chicken here does need to have a about a three hour marination time so we're going to begin seasoning the chicken here and then we're going to take a break while our chicken marinates for about three hours and we'll come back to finish off the process so what we're going to start here is with our ingredients like i said we have one and a half tablespoons of ginger in this container here we're also going to be using some soy sauce and what you're looking at there is about five tablespoons of soy sauce we're going to be using about one and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar for this recipe as well we're also going to be using some chinese five spice powder and what you're looking at here is about one teaspoon of chinese five spice powder we're also going to be using some olive oil for this recipe here if you have vegetable oil or whatever you have use whatever is available to you but what we're going to be using here is about three tablespoons of olive oil as well as one and a half tablespoons of sesame oil that i have in this container here and that's all the ingredients we're going to be using with the exception of some oil for frying our chicken here now what i have in here for my chicken are five chicken drumsticks that i have in this container here that we're going to go ahead and begin seasoning up now and the weight of these drumsticks that I have here is about two and a half pounds. So, so feel free to adjust the recipe accordingly based on what you have available and what you're using. So let's begin some seasoning up this chicken here, guys, because it does need to marinate for a while. So no need to waste any time here. All right, guys. So as you can see on your screen here, I have my drumsticks here, my chicken drumsticks. I'm also going to be using my trusty gloves here in order to prevent any contamination of my cooking or my surface or my kitchen here so yeah with that said we're just going to be basically placing all of our ingredients onto this chicken here and we're going to go ahead and let it marinate like i said for about three hours or overnight so what i just placed there is my ginger we're also going to go ahead and place our soy sauce into this bowl here as well as well as our sugar and of course we're gonna go ahead and add our Chinese five spice powder to this bowl here as well I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice mix make sure everything gets really incorporated in here want to make sure everything is nice and distributed incorporated and everything and while we have this chicken marinating here as you can see the that soy sauce is going to get nice and incorporated really well into our chicken here to give it that nice taste that we know and love we're also going to be leaving our skin on on the chicken here as you know we need to have that lovely crunch to this chicken here and that's it for now so what i'm going to go ahead and do now i'm going to pop this into my refrigerator and allow it to get nice and marinated to so allow all my seasonings to get really incorporated into the chicken there and then we're going to come back and begin frying up this chicken here so we're going to take a break for now and i'll see you guys in about three hours three hours my time or about one second for you guys right now all right guys so here we are it's been a little over two hours that we've had this chicken here marinating and i did place my chicken here in this ziploc bag here and i had it marinating in the fridge so it's been about 
two and a, a little over two hours so far and i do want to mention something that i didn't mention it before is that you also want to add about one tablespoon of minced garlic into your marinade here so yeah guys i did forget to mention that one tablespoon of minced garlic that we add to this marinade as well i also went ahead and turned my stove on here and i have it about medium heat and it's currently heating up so what we're gonna do now i'm gonna go ahead and remove my chicken from this ziploc bag here and i'm just gonna place it onto my plate here all right guys and what we're gonna do do remember that we're placing this chicken into some hot oil so i'm gonna also go ahead and pat my chicken dry a little as best as you can because you don't want too much of the splashing from that oil because of course you can be burnt and whatever else so yeah you just want to make sure that you try to pat your chicken here as dry as you can get them before actually placing them into your hot oil there all right guys so you can see my pieces of garlic and everything that's nice and stuck stuck on this chicken here and what i'm gonna go ahead and do now we're gonna jump over to my stove here where my oil has already been heating up and we're gonna begin frying this chicken here okay guys so like i said i have my oil here heating up and i've had we're gonna place this chicken into this oil here and then we're gonna fry them on each side for about five minutes per side okay guys you're just gonna place our chicken into your hot oil here and we're gonna fry them on each side for about five minutes five minutes per side okay so after about five minutes we're just gonna flip them on the other side and let it fry as well for an additional five minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and finish off frying this chicken here and i'll be right back but i also need to mention that you see this little marinade that we have in our ziplock bag here you're not going to discard of that that is going to be really important to add the finishing touches to this recipe here so yeah guys do not get rid of your marinade just yet i'm going to go ahead and fry up this chicken here and i'll be right back all right guys so here we are i went ahead and finished off frying off my chicken here and as you can see they're nice and dark and very crispy and what we're gonna go ahead and do now, if you guys remember the oil that we set aside from earlier, which are our sesame oil as well as our olive oil here, we're gonna go ahead and place those oils into our pot that you see on your screen here. We're gonna heat them up a little, and then we're gonna kind of chunky our chicken, guys, so that it gets that nice nice crispy exterior so what you see me pour there was my olive oil we're gonna go in and pour our seasoning oil here our sesame oil we're gonna go ahead and heat our oil up here until our pot here starts to kind of smoke in a little as you can see that's happening here and what i'm gonna go ahead and do now i'm gonna go ahead and pour this over my chicken all right guys so here you're looking at my chicken and here i have my oil that you guys just saw me heat up on the stove there we're gonna go ahead and just simply pour those over our chicken just like this and if you're using a metal pan like i'm using here you want to make sure that you're using precautions because obviously the, the pan is going to get very hot and you don't want to be holding it or handling it right now what i'm going to go ahead and do now I'm going to place my pot here back on my stove and if you guys remember that marinade from earlier that i told you guys not to discard yet as yet we're going to go ahead and place that on our stove here and heat that up a little and we're going to go ahead and pour that over our chicken as well all right guys so there you have my pot on my stove here what i'm going to go ahead and do now we're just going to go ahead and pour our mixture here into my pot here I'm just going to go ahead and swirl this around a little bit so it gets nice and thick as you can see my pieces of garlic and everything is still in my pot here we're going to go ahead and heat that up a little thicken it up a little and then we're going to go ahead and pour it over our chicken here 
all right guys let's pour this over our chicken and add this finishing touches guys okay guys so here we are we're gonna add our finishing touches to this chicken here now this is my marinade we're just gonna go ahead and pour that all over this chicken guys look at that and just like that we have our Guyanese style Chinese fried chicken guys now this can go over whatever plain rice fried rice chow mein however you want to go ahead and use it so with that being said thank you guys for watching i see you guys another time another day with another brand new tasty recipe